Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn how to do cloud art. This was part of the homework project on the theme of India. In class we talked about how for this project you are going to do some artwork relating to all the things you love about India. So think of what comes to your mind when you think of India. Maybe it is your favorite food. Maybe it is the things that you love about the Indian music. It could be anything. Or it could be themes relating to festivals of India, characters of Ramayan story, or the animals that you find in India. Whatever. This is where you can be very creative. You also need to have the outline silhouette of India map that I sent you. So keep that handy. And you start by writing down the few words that you're going to use for your project, the list of uh, items that are going to show up in your project. At least seven or eight words, maybe more than ten. To do this project, you need to go online and we use the website called wordart.com. Make sure to ask your mom or dad permission before you go online. And once you're done, save your art and send it to me. Now. The project theme that I used for this example are the fruits of India. So let's get started. So I go online and I've already typed out wordart.com. When you get there, you will start by pushing this create now button. When the interface opens up, you will see that there are some few things that you enter on the left hand side and on the right hand side is where your art will show up. So first things first, the words that you're going to use. So here is where you list all your words. So the fruits that I like are mangoes, guava. So I start by entering the first word that I like. As a hint, the first word, if you leave just as a blank, just put a space and you leave it there, it does something cool and I'll explain it to you. What happens is, the first word that you enter on this particular list comes out as a giant word in the middle of your artwork. So I usually don't like that. So by leaving it like a gap, you really don't see like a giant word. Everything else will follow. So I put sugarcane, uh, guava, jamun, it could be pineapple, it could be lychee it could be apple whatever word you like and what I usually do is I arrange the words from the ones that I like to be large sized on my art on the top and the ones at the bottom typically show up as smaller words so you can shuffle this back and forth until you like the order okay once you have the list of words words is done now you go to shapes okay in shapes you can pretty much pick any shape that you like. There's a puppy, there are clouds, there's all kind of piggies. But we want to add our own image. And here, this is where you go to find the image on your computer of the map of India that I had sent you. So I found that here, I click that and I open it. So now this shows up. Now you got to just make sure pick a couple of options here whether you want a positive image or a negative image so positive means all the words are where the black is if you put the negative all the words will be out here and this will be blank positive typically is better but you know you play around with it edges just means around the very outside there are no words so for a little distance maybe five pixels wide it'll all be blank so you know some number pick five ten it's okay and then you say okay the moment you do that you can then visualize it by pushing this red button visualize means show me what you got and all of a sudden it'll take all of that and put it into words now does that look cool or what so um, that's where it starts now this may not be pretty enough but then we're going to change some things to make it nicer next thing is the fonts so there are probably 20, 30 fonts in here. And you might say, I don't like the way this looks. So I'm going to change stuff around. The best way to do that is go up and down and pick a few fonts that you like. And you can pick one, two, three, four, five fonts. And the best way to do that is select 
the first one then as you scroll down to click the next one push down the control button on your computer keyboard so control and I picked him and then I scroll down and I said hey I like this too so I pick that maybe Roboto and maybe Pacificio so I picked five of them you can see by pushing the control button all those five of them are selected and you can put more if you like and then you go visualize now it replaces the font that was on there with these new fonts that you selected there you go now you might say yeah, I don't like that and you can add one more font so how about we add you know this one control and push this one and then you visualize and you'll see now it has added one more font there you go now once you're done with the fonts let's go to layout layout tells you how the words are organized to start with it's all horizontal you can pick vertical you can put a combination of horizontal vertical some diagonal ones all kinds of combinations I typically prefer horizontal and vertical because if you use too many random words then it doesn't look very nice but you're welcome to try like for example you do this crossing words you visualize see how it looks like and you will know in a moment what I'm talking about it kinda looks like that uh, it's okay but not great I actually prefer this horizontal vertical it allows you to do a few interesting things so let's go with that let's click it one more time and every time you click it it'll shuffle the words so you can keep clicking it until you feel you like it alright maybe we start here now the word count tells you how many words you want to use here because you can see mangoes are here there are a few different times your mango so it takes the words and repeats it many times so there are a total of 300 words here if you don't like so many words you want a fewer words then you can define it and go a little bit lower I typically just keep it at auto and it automatically decides how many words to use density means how tightly the words are organized I think this looks good enough now let's go to style in style first thing it asks you is what colors you like to use right now this is black and white maybe that's okay some people like black and white if you don't like black and white you can also change the color so you could go to custom colors the moment you do that it picks a few colors and puts it on here if you choose color I strongly recommend to make this color emphasis down to zero if you do that it makes the color stand out more brightly alright now you might say the colors are okay but I look like I like to change them so if you go to this custom color and you click on this all of a sudden it tells you which colors you can add so it says add another random color so I added one you can add eight colors so you see these eight colors but I say hey I don't like this color if you click on it it disappears even this one I don't like this one I don't like and these all look okay so I add another random color another random color and you might say I don't like this I don't like that and what you can do is you can keep adding and keep subtracting colors until you get ones that you like I don't like this I don't like this at the most you can have eight colors no, I don't like this either alright maybe this is good enough and then I close now all of a sudden you'll see these colors appear now you might say geez this light color doesn't look right so you can go back there get rid of it and add another color now you see this is if you like it or not you can again visualize it a little bit differently and it shuffles the words around and maybe you get a better view alright how about that okay, maybe that looks good the next thing to think about is the background image is very light here remember it was a black and white image and you see a very light version of it so you can make the background image a little darker even darker even darker even darker and it can be as dark as you like now maybe that you feel that that looks better or maybe you know down to 10% looks better I don't know it's up to you 
what I find is that if you make it a little darker then the colors that you pick should be light so you can go back in here and say amongst the colors that I have get rid of the dark colors the dark colors don't look good when the background is dark so light colors look better and you can even add a very light white color in here so you do that add to palette so you see a light color and then you close it okay maybe this looks better so you see lighter colors it pops up a little bit better so I always recommend light yellow light white light you know, various light colors stand out right so once you do that and if you don't like something you can go back and change the layout the words you know the color you can do whatever you like but let's say you like what you have then what you do is you save it and if you save it <coughs> it will save it on to your account so basically wordart.com and uh, you can open your Google account and it saves that for the future or you can download it downloading it you do it in the standard JPEG don't pick the other ones because that's a paid thing you have to pay some money for it but I just pick standard JPEG and now it is downloaded here you open that and lo and behold your artwork is ready to go so now you have it on your computer you now you can save it print it do whatever else you like and once you are done it's all yours well I hope you had a wonderful time and learned how to make wonderful cloud art thank you